Hi, I'm Charles Bradley. I'm Global Editor-in-Chief at Motorsport.com here at Pikes Peak, the world's most iconic hill climb venue, also the world's highest motorsport venue. We're over 4,000 meters up here in Colorado. We're here to see the Volkswagen IDR Pikes Peak. It's an amazing all-electric four-wheel drive car, generates 500 kilowatts of power. It's about 680 horsepower. And we're gonna see the driver Roman Dumas take on this fantastic course of 156 corners over 20 kilometers. It's gonna be a blast. So stay tuned and we're gonna watch what happens and speak to all the main players as we go. The unique challenge of Pikes Peak features an elevation change of over 1400 meters. That's not a problem for the IDR's two electric motors, but a 35% reduction in air density means the car loses downforce as it gets close to the finish. This truly is a race to the clouds. Although the facilities might not be F1 standard up here, this is a truly world-class operation. I asked Volkswagen's motorsport director Sven Schmitz about the challenge. Just tell us why? Why are we here 4,000 uh, meters up in Colorado? What, why, why with this fantastic electric car? Well, you know, when we, when we stopped WRC at uh, end of 2016, um, the board asked us to think about doing something with an electric car. And very quickly, together with the communication department in Wolfsburg, we came to Pikes Peak, first of all, because there is this uh, e-record that you can, you can break. And secondly, because we were here 30 years ago and didn't have such a very good end result. And it's one of the black spots, let's say, in our history. And those two together were more than enough motivation to say, let's do this. So how about the mechanical side? Here's former F1 technical director, Willy Ramph, the project's technical advisor. You could uh, develop a car without li regulation limits, yeah? except some, some safety features and some, sa some safety issues. Uh, but I mean, for an engineer, this is uh, something like a paradise. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> that you can start with a huge diffuser now with a, with a long split, uh, with a wide, uh, wide aerodynamic elements, with uh, side skirts on the side of the chassis. So this is what uh, every engineer would like to have. At least once. The ace behind the wheel is sports car veteran Romain Dumas. He's twice won the 24 Hours of Le Mans outright and the Nürburgring and Spa 24 Hours too. But he's no stranger to the short, sharp challenge of Pikes Peak. He's won the event for the past three years and knows he only gets one shot on Sunday. What's his take on the IDR's chances? Uh, this guy is very, very fast. Very fast. I um, think it's one of the best cars I drove for sure. Uh, I think at the end of my career or at the end of the race, possibly you will ask me if I, <laughs> the one I prefer the most. But I will say uh, I have some good memory of uh, prototype and for sure this one is already on the podium by driving. So this majestic place is a devil's playground. It's the start of the final sector before they shoot over there to the summit of Pikes Peak itself to the finish. So Volkswagen are going to shoot him for the EV record, which is 8 minutes 57. But you just wonder if they might go for Sebastian Loeb's 8 minutes 13, the outright record here. So let's see how they get on.